Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use iMessage on your iPhone, especially if it's your very first time or first time using your iPhone. So let's get started. So in order to use iMessage, first thing is we need to ensure that we have the service turned on. So go into your setting on your iPhone and make sure that you're signed into your Apple account or create one if you don't have one, but you need an Apple account in order to use iMessage. Now after that, you're gonna scroll all the way down to apps. From apps, you're gonna scroll down to messages. Under the M section, you tap messages. Right here, you're gonna to need to sign into your Apple ID account. If you're not already signed in, just put in your Apple ID email and then your password and then go ahead and sign in or you can always create one if you have not created one. Now, once you're signed in, it's going to look like something like this. So I'll show you on a phone that I'm signed in, in right in the settings, apps, and then messages. So let's go ahead into messages. It's going to change the interface to look something like this. Right here, you want to ensure the iMessage is turned on, which says send and receive. You want to tap to ensure that it has your email or your phone number attached with it. And after that, you're ready to go. So as long as you're connected to the internet through Wi-Fi or cellular data, when you open up your messages and you send someone a message, and if they also have an uh, iMessage account or another iPhone or any kind of Apple device using iMessages, you can message them directly and you'll see a blue icon here instead of a green icon. So whenever you text someone something like this, they also receive it through the iMessage through basically Apple server, which is slightly different from going through your cellular carrier. And that's how you use iMessage. Again, easy and nice way to message. It's usually more secure and faster, I find. Again, that's how you would do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.